Hi, everyone. Okay, so this is my first Facebook Live video. Um, we're going to be doing some really cool stuff today. Okay, so um, today we're going to be doing a fluid abstract painting. And I have all my supplies here. I'll be giving you some information on how to do it. Um, it's really quite simple, but it's like extremely messy. So um, we're going to start with what I have here in the background. Okay, so all of these are fluid abstract style. Um, people call them fluid pours, fluid abstract, liquid pours, liquid abstract. I mean, you really can find paintings like this all over the place and they're just so much fun to do. No one painting is the same. And um, this is an example of a fluid pour with uh, about maybe four or five colors in there. Um, there's blue, white, pink, turquoise, as you can see. And um, it's just, it's just the paint. So there's no, um, there's no spray, there's no resin coat on there. It just kind of has a natural matte look to it. And all these, all these paintings um, you can find on QZDesignGallery.com. And I probably should introduce myself. I am Kia of QZ Design Gallery. Most of you guys already know who I am. But um, if you don't, that's who I am. And uh, if you um, are just now tuning in, we are doing a DIY tutorial for fluid abstract painting. And we're also doing a giveaway today. So the painting I create today will be given away. Um, we're going to announce the, the winner tomorrow at 1 p.m. And um, what you have to do to enter is to watch this video. You have to um, follow the link that my co-host Olivia will be putting in the comments below. Hi, Olivia. She's watching now. And I also have her in my earbud because once I start this painting, I will not be able to touch the phone or adjust. It's it's going to be a mess in here. It, it'll be it'll be paint everywhere. Um, so if you guys have any questions, please um, type them in the comments below, and um, and then she'll be typing in answers and giving you links to all my products and, and all that stuff. So um, let me know if you have any questions, and I'll try to answer them the best that I can. Um, so like I said, all these paintings can be found on QZDesignGallery.com. We have all types, sizes colors, um, we have a lot of stuff that's kind of a natural matte, and then we also have um, resin coating on a lot of the paintings, which kind of gives it that shiny, glossy look. Hi, Shauna! Hi! Um, that shiny, glossy look. Okay, so you can also do that too with your paintings. And that's actually pretty easy to do. It's not as hard as you think. So today... The art giveaway we're doing is for a 16 by 20 painting. It's a pretty good size. Um, you probably can fit this pretty much anywhere in your house. Um, this canvas is a gallery wrapped canvas. Okay, so when you go to the store and buy your canvas, there's pretty much two thicknesses you can buy. You can do gallery wrapped, which this is ready to hang. You don't have to frame it. You don't really have to do anything to it. It just has that nice smooth edge on it. It's that thick edge. It's about 1.5 inches thick um, and it's just ready to go. Now, you, I have other pieces here that are only a three quarter inch thick. So this one you would definitely want to frame if you're going to put it on your wall because it's not going to look as classy on the wall. Hi, Tequisha. Hey, gorgeous. <laughs> um, this one is a thinner edge. so. I generally like to work with a gallery wrapped edge. Um, it's a lot cheaper than having to take something to Michaels or Hobby Lobby or you know your your basic framing shop to be framed. Um, so this is this is your best bet right here. Um, and this one, this 16 by 20, was about maybe 30 some dollars. Um, but Michaels has coupons and they, they have coupons, they have discounts pretty much every day. So you could probably get this for about half off if you were really checking and going online. Okay, so 
that's the one we're giving away today. So somebody who is lucky will win this painting once it's done. Okay, so we're going to go into the colors we're doing today. So I'm going to go ahead and do this painting with about about five colors. Okay, so right here, I'll just down. I have an aqua and I love to use Craft Smart. So that's it's a very inexpensive brand and you can really find that at um, Michael's or even I think Hobby Lobby sells it but I get most of my paints from Michael's and um, this bottle itself was probably about maybe a dollar and 69 cents the other color I'm using is gold because I absolutely love gold I put gold in everything if I can this is also craft smart and it's a radiant gold and um, it's multi-surface Okay, I don't know if you can see that. The other color I'm using is just a regular white, Craft Smart. This is just a bigger bottle because I use a lot more white and black in, in my paintings. Um, so it just makes sense to buy a bigger bottle. And this is probably about around six or seven dollars. This is a Craft Smart black. And the last color I'm using is Americana. Now, Michaels also carries Americana. It's, um, this color is chartreuse. It's kind of like a lime green. And um, so those are our colors together. So I'm going to actually start mixing this with water. So when you're doing a fluid abstract painting, um, you really need to have your paint kind of thinned out. And there's several ways you can do this. The simplest way today we're going to do is to just add water to your painting. You can buy Floetrol. Um, there's actually agents that you can add to any kind of acrylic paint, but they're kind of expensive. Um, and I think the painting turns out just as well if you just use regular tap water. So you want a consistency that kind of just pours off the knife. Not too thick, not too thin. It kind of just has a, like a smooth consistency okay so um I hi Mutaki um I just want to thank everybody who's watching right now and I am so excited that you guys are watching and I really appreciate it um so I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and start mixing this um chartreuse and water together okay Yes, Olivia, I can hear you. Okay. 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 I have Olivia in my earbud, so I'm talking to her at the same time. Okay, so I'm adding this chartreuse into my plastic cup. Okay, and the next thing I'm gonna do is to, now you wanna add water little by little because it's so easy to add too much water and then you pretty much just have just a watery product and it's going to slide right off of your canvas if it's too watery. So you want to make sure it's the right thickness. Okay, so I think that looks pretty good actually. Hi Scott! I've actually done that before. He says to add a little water to the bottle and shake. Um, that is a very good idea because there's probably a lot more paint in here that I'm wasting. But um, usually when I'm by myself, I will add water to all my bottles and shake to, to get most of the paint out. Thank you, Scott. That's a really good idea. Okay, I'm just going to add a little bit more water to this. 
don't want it to be too watery. Okay, so I think that's a really good consistency. Okay, so you see how that's kind of like pouring off of there? So that'll slide around the canvas. Hi, Sylvia! Hey, Auntie! Okay, so, and that's a really pretty bright lime green. Okay. All right, so for those of you who are just now tuning in, let me introduce myself again. My name is Kia of QZ Design Gallery, and um, if you're tuning in, we are creating a fluid abstract painting today. It's going to be so much fun and get really, really messy. Um, I really appreciate you guys tuning in, and I'm so happy you're here. I'm so excited. This is my first Facebook Live video, so if there's any technical glitches or I'm a little nervous, so just, you know, bear with me. Um, today we are giving away this 16 by 20 painting once it's done and um, to enter to win you have to like the QZ Design Gallery page. You have to um, go to the link that Olivia will provide in the comment section and enter your name and email address and that's all you have to do to win. That's it. Okay, so. We're gonna go ahead and get started. And uh, just to let you know again, all these paintings behind me are for sale at QZ Design Gallery, so check it out. And I also do commission work. I love to do commission work, okay? So call me up, I can work with any color, any size, anything you want, okay? All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get started with this pour. This is the fun part. This is my favorite part. And this, this is when it gets a little bit crazy, okay? So. All right, and again, Olivia's putting up there that all the paints are from Michaels. I get most of my products from Michaels. And I use coupons every time I go. I can usually get things about maybe 30 to 45% off um, every time I go. And usually the people at the register are, are very good with keeping coupons behind the counter. So, okay. All right, so... The effect we're going to do today is kind of a marbling effect, and let me kind of show you what I'm talking about. So, this painting right here, okay, I did this with about four colors. Um, we did a, I did a red, a white, a silver, and a black, and um, the marbling effect that I got is pretty much how you pour the paint onto the canvas. Um, and that's what we're going to do today. It's, it's really easy. Um, it takes maybe a little bit more time um, than just doing just a regular liquid pour, but it's worth it. Hi, Sophia. Um, so, and then these little like circular things in here are called cells. And sometimes that naturally shows up um, with your paintings. It's just kind of a chemical reaction between the acrylic paint and the water and just just whatever it has in it, you never know when they're gonna show up, but right now, this is all the rage. Everybody is trying to get cells inside their painting, and there's actually things you can buy to add to your acrylic paint. You can do silicone gel, um, you can do Floetrol, you can do Elmer's glue. There's, you can do all kinds of things to kind of get different effects. But today, we're just doing just a simple marbling effect, and, um, Again, we have five colors and we're gonna go ahead and get started. So this is the fun part right here. Okay, so I'm gonna take my stirrers out of the painting. And I wanna keep them separate just because, let's say you're doing a larger painting and you have to add more paint, you wanna make sure you can just stick that stir right back in the cup and um, mix with water and stir it back again. So we're gonna start with blue and I'm kinda gonna do a, just a couple of different things on here. So I'll start with this, with the blue. And then to achieve the marbling effect, you're gonna be adding layers of paint on top of each other. 
So this is probably what takes the most time. And hopefully you guys can see that pretty well. Little by little. Okay. I'm gonna add a little bit of black, not much. And just in the middle, I'm not gonna add that to the sides. And I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna keep repeating this process over and over again. And the more times you do it, the better your marbling effect will be. I think I added white next, yeah. White. And you wanna make sure your canvas is level also because I can already tell my canvas is, my painting starting to slide to the right. So I don't know what's going on. Wait, let me try to fix this. That's a little bit better, I think. All right, so add some green. I don't even know if I added the green yet. I might have forgotten to add the green. And this green is a little bit thick. It's important to have your paint the same consistency because once you go to pour, let's say the white is thicker than the black, the white is going to be, it's going to kind of stay there and your black's going to slide right over it. So you want all your painting, all your paints are going to slide together. So that lime green was a little bit thick, so I'm going to add a little bit of water to it. All right, that's a little bit better. Okay. And you know, you don't really have to do it in order either. You can do it in any order that you want. And you can even go off to the side and kind of add white to the side if you want. If you want a lot of negative space in your painting, which is, negative space is basically space where there's not a lot going on inside the painting. So when you're doing something colorful, you have a lot of just craziness going on. And sometimes having that negative space, just like all black or all white makes the busyness pop more. So I like to have, um, I like to have a good amount of negative space when I'm creating a fluid abstract. So we're not going in any particular order. We're just gonna keep on pouring. Hello to everybody who has just tuned in. We are creating a fluid abstract painting today. I'm Kia of QZ Design Gallery, hi. And um, we're giving away this painting today. So hi Lacey, hi Ashley. Uh, Ash dogs are watching too, hey doggies. Um, <laughs> So if you have not, um, if you don't know, we're going to be giving away this painting. And for you to win, you just have to like my QZ Design Gallery page. And you have to go to the link that Olivia is going to provide below and enter your name and email. And that's all you have to do. We'll be announcing the winner tomorrow at 1 p.m. Hi, Andrea. Hey, sis. Okay, so we're still pouring. Um, today we're doing a marbling effect with this fluid abstract and to achieve that you have to keep pouring repeatedly on top of your pour. Alright so this is starting to pour up the side so I'm going to actually turn this around because I don't think it's level so hopefully it'll start pouring this way instead of off that side. Um, so I'm going to keep pouring And the more times you do this, the better it's going to look. There are times where I've been kind of lazy and I'm like, uh, I'm going to do it maybe about five or six times instead of 13 or 14 times. And you can see the difference. Black. Uh, this, this painting right here is an example of a fluid abstract. And this one doesn't have much of a marbling effect because I just poured a couple of times. I didn't really do the repeated pours on top. So you can see it has just a lot of plain space in it. 
as opposed to as opposed to this piece where I did a lot more repeated pouring on top and you can see it has a lot more marbling and a lot more character to it so it, it definitely pays to take the time to keep pouring okay so we're gonna keep on we're gonna keep on pouring and usually this this takes a while so this is this is the most time consuming part of this because once I move this painting around, literally it'll take about two seconds for it to be done. Maybe not two seconds, but literally about a minute. And the beauty of this is once I move it around and you see where the paint kind of uh, lies and stays. If you don't like it, you can always just add more paint. There's lots of times where I'll move a painting around and I'm like, I don't like that corner section. I don't, I don't like how this looks. So I'll mix a little bit more paint together and kind of cover it up. This is acrylic paint, so it stays wet for hours. And you can always add water to it to to make it um to make it wet again if it starts to dry. Okay, so that's looking pretty cool. I'm gonna add a little bit more gold. I'm gonna kind of add gold to the edges right here because I want the paint to cover my gallery wrapped edges. have some plain space going on on the edges of my painting. Add a little bit more white. I might have to mix up some more white here, but I think I'm going to have enough paint. I have a ton of paint on this small little canvas. Okay. A little bit more green in the spaces. Some gold right there. I mean, really, it, it is so hard to mess up mm -hmm. a blue acrylic. It really is. It, this is so much fun to do with your kids. You can buy little tiny canvases like this one right here. This is so small. You get like a little Tupperware and you can just have your kid just pour paint all the place. Make sure you have plastic because it's, it's quite messy. So, Okay, so we are about to pour this painting. Um, again, to everybody watching, thank you so much for tuning in to Keezy Design Gallery. Um, my first Facebook Live, we're doing a painting giveaway. We will be giving away this painting um, tomorrow at 1 o'clock, so make sure you follow the rules and enter to win. Um, and also, share and invite your friends. Thank you, Olivia. Share this video, invite your friends to watch this video, and um, check out KeezyDesignGallery.com for more art. Okay, so... This is the fun part. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and, I'm gonna try to keep the paint inside the bin, but a lot of times that does not happen, so here we go. It's looking pretty awesome. And you want to make sure it kind of pours off the sides to kind of cover your edges right there. I'm really liking the corner of this because it has the most marbling. Don't wear any jewelry because you have you'll have paint all over yourself. But so I think I'm gonna add. I think I'm gonna add a little bit more because. And then if you're, if you're trying to cover your corners, you can always get a tool like this and kind of just pick up the paint and add it to the edges of your canvas because you want everything covered in paint. So you guys can see up close how that looks. 
edges are covered. Okay, so I'm not really liking this right here. I, I want more character in this. I, I know I, I like negative space, but I think I want a little bit more white. So I'm gonna add, my hands are a mess, I'm gonna add a little bit of water to this white and just kind of pour it on there. And then a little bit more blue. And a little bit more black because I like how that black effect is looking. So, and you can, like I said, it's, it's so hard to mess this up. I mean, you can, you can literally just keep pouring for hours and it'll just keep, it'll keep changing shape it'll change every time you tilt the canvas thank you guys hi hi mom and dad <laughs> oh you think mom should win okay I'm not going to resin this one, um, but what I am going to do is put a protective coating on it. I put a protecting coating on all of my paintings. Um, it kind of protects it from sunlight, from the elements, from dust. Um, what I'm doing here is just adding a little bit more character. And I find it's better when you kind of go long ways across your painting. So I'm going to keep on, I'm going to pour just a little bit more. I'm going to kind of go diagonal. Hi, Sylvia and Jerry. Oh, hi, Cindy. Oh, Cindy, you have to enter to win. I hope you do. Okay, I'm going to add some more blue going across here. And it kind of just starts to give it shape. You know, once you see the way the the paint is pouring, kind of just start pouring that way. And I think I may mix up a little bit more white because I'm out of my white. So my hands are a mess right now, but I'm gonna add some white to this. against anything bright this makes it look a thousand times better. And you'll find with fluid abstracts that there'll be parts of the painting like this is my favorite part right here. This right here is just like so marbly and you brought you guys probably can't see it right now but it's so sparkly with the gold because the gold kind of has like shimmery flecks in it and it's so pretty i'm going to add a little bit of white to the edges right there a little bit of white over here and a little bit of white right here and i'd say this is almost done all right a little bit more. Slide. Oh yeah, I think that looks so cool. That looks really good. A little bit more blue right here. And I'm gonna take this across. I'm gonna add a little bit of black right here. You can also do this with your, if you're wanting to cover up your edges, you can do that with your hands too. There's a little bit of 70s 
cells popping up in here, which is kind of like the circular, circular little bubbles that pop up. And um, sometimes you'll get those, sometimes you won't. It just depends. Depends on what kind of paint you use. It depends on what's inside the paint. Thank you, Marquisha. Thanks for tuning in, you guys. If you guys are just now tuning in, I am Kia with QZ Design Gallery, and this is my first Facebook Live. I'm doing a fluid abstract, or what's called a fluid pour. And uh, this painting will be given away to a lucky winner. All you have to do is like my QZ Design Gallery page and then go to the link provided by Olivia in the comments. Hi, Lindsay! And enter in your name and email, and a winter will, the, the winner will be announced tomorrow at 1 p.m. So good luck to everybody. And I think we are pretty much done with this. I could add paint to this literally for hours, and it just keeps changing. So if you do this at home yourself, um, I truly encourage you to, to try this yourself. I think everyone should, um, should try their hand at painting. It's very calming. It's very therapeutic. You kind of get lost in it. It's pretty inexpensive, actually. But you can just keep adding until you like it. So ho hopefully whoever wins this, it actually goes with their home decor because it's a little bit crazy. But uh, <laughs> hopefully you can find a space for it. But it's kind of summertime color, so it'll definitely go with the season. Okay, so I think I am done. I'm going to stop playing with this because it looks pretty good. Um, and I'll hold it up so you can see up close. You know, um, I someone asked if I have a certain um, pattern or style that I go in. I, mean, I, I really don't. Um, I just kind of do what's kind of pleasing to the eye, and that might be different for, for anyone doing this. Um, you know, sometimes I kind of like a, a wild-looking pattern, and then other times I don't want it to be so busy. I might want mostly white with, um, you know fluid acrylic uh, craziness going on outside the white. So it really just depends on what you like. Everybody is different with, you know, what's catching and pleasing to their eye. And I, I have some, um, some parts of my canvas that are not covered up. You know, I've, I've had, <laughs> I've had, so many people ask me to do a class and I really am looking at doing that because it, it really is so much fun. Um, it's pretty inexpensive and I will be, um, I'll be looking to do a class soon. I'll definitely let you guys know as soon as I get that underway. Um, Scott asked how long to dry. This by probably tomorrow morning will be dry. Acrylic dries very, very fast um, as opposed to oils. Oils will, could probably take days to dry. Acrylic dries super fast. Um, so yeah, this will be dry by tomorrow morning and I'll be able to sign it. I'll be able to, you know, package it up probably by maybe the middle of the week. Um, let's see. Yeah, so I think it looks pretty good. And I'm gonna make sure all my edges are are covered. You don't want you don't really want any um, canvas showing. So you want to use all of your paint if possible. of 
These colors are looking so good together. They look really good. And before I started, I actually taped up the back of my painting. You can't really see it now, but um, I taped up the back because this is such a mess. Um, you don't want the wood to really get wet because it can kind of warp the canvas. So you want to keep it dry, which is why you can put it on top of a Tupperware. You can take four plastic cups and place it on top of that if you don't have Tupperware. Um, I wouldn't just set it inside of wet paint. Hi, Ebony. Thank you. Love you too. Hi, Elaine. Okay, so we are about done, people. Um, if you haven't um, liked the page, go ahead and like it so you can be entered into the drawing. Um, definitely go to the link and um, enter in your name and email. And, um, and check out the website, www.qzdesigngallery.com. My co-host, Olivia, thank you so much. She's the one who um, actually designed the website. She's amazing. Um, does anybody have any more questions um, as it pertains to the painting? Anyone, anyone? Hi, everybody. See, I'm a complete mess, but it was so much fun. Um, somebody asked about clear coat. There's a couple of ways you can put a clear coat on here. Um, sometimes I'll use um, Golden Artist Color. Uh, it's a soft gel gloss that I just mix with water and put over all of my paintings. Um, you can also use Art Resin, which is kind of a professional thing to do, but it adds kind of that glassy, glossy resin finish, and it protects against UV rays, dust, damage to the painting. Um, you can also, I've also seen other artists use a spray sealer, which is just like a, um, like a clear gloss that you would put on top of furniture or anything that you're covering with paint. You can also use that on your paintings. I've never used a, a spray can gloss, um, but I've seen other artists use it and it, it looks pretty good. Um, someone asked, where is the link posted, Olivia? Is it posted in the comment section? Okay, Olivia is about to post the link right now in the comment section. She's posting the link now, so it should be it should be there any second. Any second. So I really hope that you guys enjoyed um, watching me create this uh, messy masterpiece. Um, but as you can see, I'll put it up close so you can a little bit more. All the way down. There you go. Thank you, Cassie. And when it dries in the morning, it'll be it won't be shiny anymore. It'll kind of be just a matte finish, but it'll the colors will still stay bright and it'll look completely gorgeous. Hi, Mickey. Okay. Okay, people, so thank you once again for tuning in to my first Facebook Live video. I really hope you guys have fun. I encourage you to go out by your canvas, do this yourself, and I would love to see any pictures that you have um, of your own kind of art masterpieces. Um, Anyone can do this. It really is so much, it's so easy. It's just extremely messy. So make sure you have plastic down. Make sure you have some place to do it. You can do it outside too. You just have to be careful of stuff flying into your wet paint. But um, thank you, Jessica. <laughs> um, but you can totally do this. Um, and I encourage you to do it with your kids. They, they love this kind of stuff. So um, hi, Ty. Um, so anyways, you guys, thank you so much again for tuning in and um, if you're watching the replay of this video, um, you can enter in to win this painting up until 1 p.m. tomorrow. So go to the link, like the QZ Design Gallery page, and um, enjoy. Okay, you guys, so I'll see you next time and I'll let you know when I'll be um, having my, uh, my next painting. Okay? Um, I don't know how I'm going to end this video because my, you can go ahead and press finish right